after another relaxing family summer at home, it's time to get the old mountain lakes back in shape for yet another fall guiding season. Now I've been guiding for over 20 years and I always like to start my year off with a sheep hunt or two. And in a couple of weeks, I'm heading up to the Yukon to guide a 10 day backpack doll sheep hunt with my longtime friend and client, Dennis Stave. So, after I sweat off a few more pounds here at home in Saskatchewan, we'll head up to the Yukon to go after one of my favorite species to guide for, doll sheep. It's reality time. You spend years in some cases waiting and waiting for the time to go sheep hunting and then it becomes months then days down to hours and hurry up and wait in town and you finally get flying out and the country looks awesome and mountains don't look too bad and then the float plane lands on the lake and the mountains get taller and reality hits you between the eyes but made it out here on Dennis's hunt and we've got 10 plus days to get it done. See if we can get Dennis a big old round. Let's go. After a 22 mile two day hike just to reach our hunting area, anticipation was peaking for opening day of sheep season the following morning. But first, some much needed sleep. August 1st, opening day of sheep season. Dennis and I have spent two days packing in just to the area where, where we can start to hunt. So we took it nice and slow. We didn't burn ourselves out. We got loaded packs and 
This morning we're going after rams. We're coming slow, but we're coming steady. And this will be Dennis's second sheep hunt. Me and Dennis, I think it was about three, four years ago. We're up in the northern Yukon. We got on a couple of legal rams, but nothing that met our age requirements, our desires, so pass those rams up. And four, four short years later, here we are. So hopefully we can find a nice old ram for Dennis and get the job done. We'll see what happens. Now it's impossible to show you the full effort that goes into a backpack sheep hunt in the 22 minutes we have for this show, but by this time in the hunt we had covered some ground, 30 mountain miles to be exact, and had glassed for countless hours, and we're still without a ram sighting. We had found plenty of ewes and lambs though, which means the rams had to be somewhere, and although a sheep hunt is extremely physical, it also requires as much mental strength as anything. So. With lots of time left, we had to remain positive if we ever hoped to find the rams. So we're just going to come down off the mount we're on and work our way over to the, the knob here. That's at the end of a long razorback ridge. Peek around the corner and see if we can find some rams. Eliminate some more country if we don't. Every backpacker's dream going through this. Just having our morning coffee and glass the, the hills here by camp and still nothing but we looked over way across the valley and we got 11 rams over there so the day started off good <laughs> only bad thing is oh well, it's probably five miles across the valley and it's all swamp but <laughs> we're going over there no matter what but nice to see finally some rams really nice to see Not gonna film a whole lot because the mosquitoes just came out. There's not much wind and they're eating us alive, so. Let's get packed up and we're gonna cross this big swamp and see if we can get a little closer and see what's over there. The boys are. Let's give her. All right, well, we just woke up. Looks like we had a little change in the weather last night. The sun's gone and replaced with a little overcast, so might get a little rain today, but hard to tell it might burn off with us when the sun comes up too. We're pretty early here right now. We'll uh, fire up the little stove there, have a coffee and a little granola, and lace up the boots and go for a hike and hike around this mountain, see what we can see and make sure Make sure we don't miss nothing and see if we got a mature ram up there. And away we go. Are you ready yet, T-Bone? I'm ready. Your ram's gonna die of old age by the time we get there. <laughs> it might. Let's go! Oh boy. We'll find some rams. Probably a two-year-old. 
Just came over the hill and skyline there. I'll probably just have to sit here and see what else comes over because it's right in the line where we want to go, so. Well, the ram fed over the hill. He's been gone for probably 20 minutes, so. Got a couple giggles with our little resident chipmunk here. Time to keep climbing. These tiny little caribou aren't they? Probably a two year old bull. Onward and upward. the wind in our favor as best we can. We got right to the edge of the, the spine of the mountain here. Wind's cutting across from our left to right. Kind of perpendicular to us as we're going to the top. So off on our right is just a kind of a sheer drop off cliff. So could be the odd one bedded in there, but most likely they're above us and to the left. So we got step one taken care of. The wind, now we just got to Put our heads down and do some climbing for about probably 40, 45 minutes, get to the top and start peeking over and see if we can see some rams.
Not a boy. Okay, let's go, let's go. You got yourself a nice round there. Well, it took us, what, uh, two hunts and four years. Lots of mountains, lots of hiking in the off season, lots of camping, lots of mosquitoes. <laughs> but in the end, lots of fun, lots of hard, hard work, but lots of fun. What do you figure? Finally, get my hands on one of these things. It's perfect, it's gorgeous. We say we get some tags on them, get them butchered up, get them skinned up, thrown in the packs, and we either take us maybe an hour to get back to our base, our little base camp, and then tomorrow we either have a one-day hike to a lake or a two-day hike to a lake. So the hunt is far from over, but the fun probably is. But it'll be fun packing this guy off the mountain too. Yet the adrenaline will still be still be pumping for a while yet, and then uh, be. Like I said, either two or three days of hiking hard to get back to a lake so we can fly out of here. But awesome hunt, awesome animal. Think I'll call that my old heaven. Ever such a place Is that heavy bread? We're in trouble. <laughs> we are in trouble. <laughs> Living near whiskey, kept me by in handy. And darkness to him bright by the Miles in the lights of the good nature people that are so few and far between. Oh, yeah. Not for Think I. Call that my own heaven If there is ever such a place Said they got their open arms to hold you